Hello once again, this is Venu, the developer of Drunk on Nectar, here to talk about the Nature Sandbox game mode. Please check out the combat survival videos first if you haven't already done so. Nature Sandbox gives you full creative control over the game and eventually it will allow you to design complete ecosystems of your own. Let's check out what we have so far. Okay, before we go any further, I'm first going to walk you through some of the stuff that you're seeing here. To your left, we have an overview of all the creatures on the map, both the fauna and the flora. You can drill down and check out what these creatures are up to. If you click on one of them, you can, you know, observe its behavior. Let's check out what some of these dragonflies are up to. This one's eating a butterfly. This one's eating a jumping spider. This one is tracking prey. Look at it jumping all around town. And it caught something. It's all creepy. So, this is a bit like being inside of a nature documentary and you know, getting to see what's um, going on right down at their level. You can also toggle an x ray vision on and off. But anyway, before I get too carried away, let's also look at some of the flora. You can drill down into each plant all the way down to each leaf on each stalk so this game really gives you an unprecedented amount of detail when it comes to learning about these uh, things there's a lot more stuff I can talk about but you know let's move on to some of the cool stuff so let me move this out of the way let me come over to an empty part of the map like this and I can start planting things of my own I can start planting trees like this so you can decorate the map any way you please and all the stuff that you add actually has value, it's not just a visual prop. For example, some creature might be depending on this piece of fern for its life. So far from being a visual prop, this stuff actually matters. Every single action that you take is going to have a repercussion at some point. Because some creature out there is going to rely on this for food or maybe it's going to rely on this piece of fern for climbing on, you know, as a high perch to scout for prey whatnot. Let me add a few conifers here because I'm not enjoying uh, <laughs> this part of the map is a bit too barren for my liking so hmm, I can't place it on a stone of course. You might have noticed that as soon as I plant a tree it makes sure that you know the season is respected and what I mean by that is we are in the middle of spring right now. Uh, if I bring my outliner back you can see that's the first day of spring. There's still a bit of snow falling um, right now. I don't have the visuals but you get the gist of it. So because of that, these pine trees are still carrying some amount of snow on them. If you want to check out snow in this game, um, we'll get to that in a while, so don't worry about it. Oh, by the time we were doing all of that, these plants are starting to grow, look at that. You know what, let's make things a bit more fun. I'm going to start adding creatures here, like that, and just look at them go, one by one. We have an army of jumping spiders out here. Let's make things even more fun. I'm going to add a dragonfly and it's going to buzz around and <laughs> break a lot of havoc around here. Speaking of buzzing, how about a few bees? And it's not drunk on nectar until we have a butterfly. So you, I hope you get the gist of it. There's practically no limits to what you can do out here. You can create you know, a complete ecosystem or a niche of your own out here. Eventually there's going to be a lot more stuff that you can do, but I think this is a solid foundation for us to get there. There's even more cool stuff by the way. You can change the flow of time. Let me show you how that works. I can um, come over here, I can plant a few of these. Let me get the details final back on. And if I press this button, you can change the way time flows. See that? Let me show you this part to make it more evident. See that? Look at the, um, the way the time is flowing. In the span of a few seconds, you can actually accelerate the time such that you have a couple of days pass. See, now it's day three of spring. You can even slow down the flow of time. Let me move over to next bit. That. Let's move over to summer. By the way, because it's summer, seed pods are starting to form. All the flowers are starting to wilt. We have some seeds that are being, uh, spores that are being, oh my god, just look at this part of the map, it's changed. It took me by surprise even. When we started this game, it was just completely different. Let me, um, you know, pause it. But everything is dynamic, everything is alive in this game. 
even I have no idea what a certain part of the map is going to look like when I come back to it because every even down to the last blade of grass everything is alive everything is dynamic everything grows but anyway what I really wanted to do was show you some of the slow motion features of the game so let me add a jumping spider over here yeah see that let's add a butterfly let's add a dragonfly and watch a hunt in slow motion it's autumn now and you know fall colors all over the place I want to show you the um, progression of an entire season so uh, I'm going to speed up the time by several times Maybe 1000 is a bit too much 500 the winter what is this the second day of winter and it's spring again summer see that seeds are falling all around the map because as I told you earlier every single part of this game is alive it's completely dynamic things pl the plants will keep spreading and propagating themselves and they'll keep growing everywhere and it's so again this time I'm going to stop the second day of spring because yeah <laughs> finally there's some snow for you I promised you that we are going to be we're going to see some snow and so now let's enjoy the snow and you know what, to make things even better I'm going to add a jumping spider here and I'm going to play as this jumping spider I can click on this button take control of this jumping spider and we have a completely different game at this point That's the kind of unlimited potential that a game like Dawn offers for you. You can change it in practical, you can create scenarios that you know didn't exist when you started off the first time. Now I have a winter scene and I have a jumping spider in winter. I can make things even more fun if I want to. I can add a dragonfly maybe somewhere there. I can get back to my jumping spider and let's see if I can try to survive eight in the morning third day of winter Anyway, so there's, um, there's a lot of stuff you can do in this game, especially in nature sandbox, but it's going to take me a lot of time to cover the, all that ground. Mm, let's stop the video at this point. I hope you enjoyed watching Nate Dawn's nature sandbox. There's a lot of stuff um, you can do here. Maybe I'll, maybe we'll have a couple of videos in the future talking about some of the more specific stuff. But for now, I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope to see you around soon. Thanks a lot for watching.